Welcome back to another Design Rage episode number 5. Every hour, be firmly resolved as becomes a Roman and a man to accomplish the work at hand with fitting and unaffected dignity, goodwill, freedom and justice. Banish from your thoughts all other considerations. This is possible if you perform each act as if it were your last, rejecting every frivolous distraction, every denial of the rule of reason, every pretentious gesture, then show and whining complaint against the decrees of fate. Do you see what little is required of a man to live a well-tempered and God-fearing life? Obey these precepts and the gods will ask nothing more. This was an excerpt from The Emperor's Handbook by Marcus Aurelius, also known as Meditations. The Emperor reminds us here how simple life actually is. He reminds us that our days are numbered and that this might be your last thing that you're doing. No one knows the future, so the best thing to do according to Marcus, is to give your everything on whatever you're working on right now, whatever the situation might be at work or in life in general. Speaking of which, this time I will be designing a full-figure robot inspired by motorcycle aesthetics. Uh, we're going to sculpt it in 3D with ZBrush. Uh, I'm gonna be keeping it rough and loose and sketchy, uh, trying to capture a general idea of the robot while having enough room for exploration and iteration. Um, and one more thing, I will be limiting myself with 10 hours of maximum work time to have some constraints on the amount of polish and detail that I want to do and uh, yeah this whole thing can be a good representation of what I generally do for clients uh, as well as myself to give a general idea of what I'm creating and uh, a 360 view um, of the design of the character um, that we can go further on and polish later on with either sub D cat or just straight in ZBrush uh, about the design, I did these um, motorcycle robots in the past and I thought it would be fun to do it again, record it for you guys and also try to find a new thing, perhaps a new prop, new shape, new form, um, it's always fun to tackle uh, a familiar subject but yeah, I'm just trying to find another spin on it and uh, personally I really enjoy this kind of uh, sportsy looking robots so yeah uh, one addition that I didn't do in the past I will be adding a helmet with a visor to the front uh, which I thought would be cool addition and visor uh, the helmet itself goes through some of the iterations. Um, it's not something I have straight in my head, like 100% um, visualized. It's nothing like that at all, actually. Uh, it's more of a feeling. I'm more, I'm more, I mostly feel the design uh, and sort of sense where it is going. Perhaps, perhaps have some. Um, flashes in, in, in mind uh, of visuals but nothing quite detailed so um, yeah when I'm sculpting I'm, I'm exploring on the go trying things out uh, redoing um, and yeah just generally trying to find the forms and shapes that I find pleasing um, and of course uh, of course keeping in mind all the design aesthetics and um, design things that that 
help you improve the design uh, that you're working on and yeah about the helmet uh, the inspiration was uh, from uh, birds of prey um, and osprey like the big part of uh, the head of the bird and as well as the eyes um, I sort of tried to implement that later on uh, which I thought would be cool um, and it's always cool to find inspiration in nature in animals um, I always find it fun Uh, the main thing about designing a robot like this I find is focusing on depth and layering of forms uh, which helps sell that this is not your regular human packed in an armored shell but actually artificial creation uh, and one element in particular that I wanted to emphasize that on was the pelvis area uh, and the way ribcage uh, attaches to the pelvis uh, I'll be designing this big joint so instead of having a spine at the back that imitates the human form it's just a giant uh, uh, joint uh, which would also create a, an interesting movement uh, if the robot was walking around uh, it would be very um, rough i guess and and, and uh, robust uh, in itself another thing that i did was i made the uh, figure itself a little bit uh, taller a little bit longer legs a little bit longer arms um, as well as the neck area uh, was it's a little bit taller than what I usually have um, which I thought was fun and yeah I want to explore more more of that um, I find it f interesting um, just playing around with different proportions uh, it gives um, a little bit different look uh, at the end uh, now I'm merging the helmet uh, together and, and having this longer uh, front protection on the chin area uh, which was inspired by uh, the motorcycles from dirt bikes and uh, or, or like downhill For the interior part of the um, robot, sort of the, the, the head area and the uh, chest area uh, is closely inspired by human, of course. Uh, there's a skull, like a red skull inside, cybernetic skull. Uh, and, and you could see it through a visor. Uh, if, if the visor is quite um, transparent I thought it would be a cool idea um, to give a little bit starker feel to the whole design a little bit darker but at the same time keeping it sci-fi uh, but yeah the interior part I didn't work much on it it's quite rough um, but I imagine uh, there could be a lot more tubing going there uh, or other hard surface cybernetic elements uh, added to the shells uh, and, uh, and, and school in general. Uh, yeah, one thing looking back at the design, um, I wish I did a bit better job implementing more negative space into the arms and legs uh, I think um, that could be improved a lot more and actually I might continue evolving this design later and polish it up to the final uh, I'm not completely sure yet but if I were to go ahead on this design that would be for sure a thing um, 
adding more depth to the limbs um, and if you check the way I worked on the limbs and uh, so arms and legs you can see this uh, uh, these edges sharp edges that are flowing down the lines uh, which I thought would be good to 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 um, to emphasize the, the hard surface feel um, but at the same time keep it uh, gestural and flowy and I do that with um, surface lines as well throughout the design uh, on fabric or, or armor itself uh, or, or with colors like you see here at the uh, interior of the of the leg uh, which could later on be a separate material, not just uh, a separate color. Here you can see further refinements of the head and the skull. Uh, I'm playing around with uh, these hard surface edges that emphasize the form and shape, as well as adding some of the uh, <clears throat> uh, material separations in the eye area and uh, and the uh, nose area of the skull um, and yeah similar thing for uh, I did a similar thing throughout the design actually yeah. going through each part adding a material separation with a different color so red and black uh, as well as emphasizing the functional areas like <coughs> joints um, on 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 the general parts of the human figure. One thing that I will be doing further down the road, as well as a little bit here, is uh, just trying to see different ways to add color to it. Um, I found a particular inspiration for this one uh, from uh, Formula One uh, racing cars, um, Ferrari uh, for this one, of course, with the red and black. Um, there could be addition to <coughs> carbon fiber uh, and of course the uh, cloth texture for the color that I added. Oh, which I thought would be cool to have as a, another element, um, another layer and on top of the shells uh, <coughs> and um, also which could also serve as a protection of the uh, neck area and joint area uh, in the um, chest area mm. now I am doing some iteration and ideation of the oblique muscles I thought perhaps it would be fun to have um, more cybernetic by um, anatomy inspired elements uh, there uh, those are added on the uh, deltoid part as well and I think um, if further developed it could be added to the uh, cybernetic muscles could be added to the uh, lower arm area and uh, and the leg area as well Another thing you can add to your designs is adding these um, straps on top uh, and attachment points um, uh, for for different elements. Like for example, here um, it could be additional hook for um, for the shell as well as the arm and and, and uh, deltoid area. 
it also adds um, a new material and a bit of occlusion and, and silhouette breakups. And here you see I'm starting to think of how to add another color to the whole design. Um, at first I was thinking perhaps it would be some interior parts um, that could um, emphasize be emphasized with some texture and perhaps even glowing uh, but then I started further adding it um, as a as a shell um, additional shell um, separation and um, just graphic so, uh, different graphic elements And um, here I'm follow trying to follow the rules of dirt, um, with red being the main color, and then followed by black, and a few additions of, well, now it's a mix of uh, this green, yellow, greenish color, white, as well as blue for the visor. Uh, but yeah, I think if I rendered the visor, it would be just a transparent glass uh, and the reflection would come from the sky. So yeah, just just spinning around the design and trying to find um, different pockets different uh, gestural shapes that I could add to the design to further embellish the whole look. One thing to further emphasize that this is in fact a robot is really focusing on joint areas and trying to add depth and negative feel, uh, negative um, shapes and forms uh, to to those areas. So you can really look into it and 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 um, see the attachment points and um, all the rest. Um, and one other thing that I did here in this design is the way leg attaches to the pelvis there's like a negative cut uh, from the front or the back that you view that um, yeah, transitions into a cylindrical part and um, yeah and further adding some details here on the back this could be perhaps exhausts or uh, some sort of a cooling mechanism um, and it further breaks up the silhouette as well so thought it would be fun to add the design right now is pretty much set uh, like it won't change much from here on out what remains to be done is really polish the areas and improve on some of the medium forms um, and further add details perhaps some decals and uh, or break up the shapes in general uh, as well as add thickness to all the shells um, Like here, for example, doing some further breakups. And uh, yeah, now I will be focusing more on the helmet and just polishing up, uh, separating uh, some of the some of the parts, like all these colored parts that are one subtool. I will be separating them in different subtools so that I have the possibility of rendering it out if I need to render it um, and yeah just adding some further iterations um, to the design itself of the helmet um, here I am playing around with the shape of the visor and this is where 
the uh, birds of prey reference comes in I will be shaping divisor uh, in a similar way uh, like this side cut uh, and later on adding uh, the eyes so right now I was checking the helmet from the front and just thought it was a little bit too simple and um, yeah I added these extrusions to further uh, catch the light um, and uh, yeah just trying to to see the composition um, think how it will react uh, with the lighting uh, in mind and further develop the idea one thing I find important in this um, in this um, how would you say a topic I guess or, or hard surface sportsy look in general is to have the interesting plane changes uh, between um, well basically different plane changes over the whole form uh, creating uh, interesting uh, light and dark patterns uh, of course you need to keep in mind that it follows the gestural forms and it flows well together uh, so this can be tricky sometimes uh, but yeah it's just good to keep it in mind uh, and really think about plane changes and um, trying to find interesting uh, interesting shapes like sometimes it can be tricky because it's easy just to make a blob and uh, and a smooth surface uh, but yeah trying to be really intricate about the plane changes and and the shapes and how it flows it goes a long way so here i was thinking perhaps i could add uh, like a little prop uh, on the back uh, Perhaps it's a weapon, uh, perhaps it's a rocket launcher, or perhaps it's some kind of a uh, some kind of a tool uh, that has some digital information storage or something like that, and he's transporting it on the on the uh, on the back. And um, yeah, I was also thinking of putting this guy on a motorcycle. I thought it would be cool. Ended up not going for it, but yeah, uh, having having like a combination of a robot and and a motorcycle somehow it's very interesting to me. And I gotta do it in the future, for sure. So here I'm further separating the parts. Uh, the exterior the interior which would be more like a cloth and exterior more like a plastic or perhaps carbon fiber something like that um, I was playing a lot uh, with this site and what exactly to do with it and it was quite tricky to to make it work uh, and I'm still not 100% with the final result that I got, but you know that's that's what sometimes you have to do. You just have to move forward, and uh, it is what it is. Like it's not always not always you can find the perfect solution and, uh, and uh, the the best next level <laughs> design, even though uh, the designer. Uh, dinner 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 critic would, would like that a lot and yeah that's something you have to face at least I have to face on a consistent basis is you have you have this ideal inside you that's always critiquing you uh, and has like a super high standard not just for art but life in general 
how we, what you should be doing and and we have a certain pride in in, in things you do um, and sometimes can be hard to to face that but i feel like most of the time it's on point and and um, like th- there's a tricky balance between between uh, being too harsh on yourself and and or not and not giving any slack you know because you should be you should be expecting high of yourself and uh, do your best and yeah that's why we're here so yeah here i'm further refining uh, the forms uh, adding some minor plane changes some minor details uh, cleaning up the edges um, trying to have it more smooth more uh, more sharp um, it adds a lot to readability and uh, yeah I think all the colors which are basically different materials are separated now on the helmet uh, I'm not gonna be doing it um, throughout the whole design but on helmet I said that I'll add a little bit more focus and, and um, try to find something nice something cool and uh, yeah I'm continuing to do the same process basically uh, throughout the whole design just cleaning it up, cleaning edges, making it sharper, uh, more precise, and um, yeah, nothing, nothing too special actually. Adding thickness and uh, further polishing and refining the shapes. So yeah, perhaps for this design, I spent a little bit too much on the helmet. I wasn't. I'm not sure. Um, perhaps it would be better to add a bit more focus on arms and legs. Uh, looking back at it, but yeah, can't change the past now. You can only learn from it and try to implement all the lessons learned in the next design. Um, so yeah so as you see I'm just further refining the edges making a sharper look um, having some interesting plane changes making sure it flows nicely with everything together and um, having those contour lines sharp and on point here I was checking with the previous version see how I like it trying some different ideas like this side part where the red extends to the visor was quite tricky I wasn't really sure what what to do with it how to integrate everything together um, perhaps some further breakups will be needed and I think I add like a white uh, white shell to the side but you know, thinking back, um, perhaps it shouldn't be just a shape. Like right now, it's just a additional shell on top, but adding some further functionality to it. But then again, um, if if there's too much function, then all over the place, then it looks um, it looks sort of fake. Um, so capturing just the right amount is. Uh, yeah, it's it's a tricky, it's a tricky part. Uh, one thing you won't see much in this sketch is um, adding details, like super small details, like screws or um, yeah, some small smaller um, attachment points throughout the shells or um, um, yeah, even some further cut lines, I guess. Could be added here and there uh, and that I would be doing 
later in the polish stage uh. but yeah every now and then it's it, it's good to just um to edit here and there just to um let the client or whoever is looking at this know that there's more there's more coming and uh and yeah recently i had the opportunity to work with uh, Georg Webler and uh, we've been having a lot of discussions outside work um, so this is how this thing actually came to be um, just um, getting back on doing personal work and doing sketches which um, don't take much time but keep your design uh, skills sharp and and up to date and mm, yeah there's always opportunity to grow and and improve mm, i like the analogy of mm, comparing comparing it to a sports car or uh, like a formula in formula one they have this um, build uh, that they're driving uh, for the season but throughout every race um, throughout the championship they are always doing slight tweaks and slight improvements and you can look the same way at your workflow uh, your design thinking um, there are all these multiple parts that need to work in sync in order to make something good at the end and um, yeah you can always add further changes little tweaks perhaps um, explore different functionality of the of the software that you're using or or um, focusing a little bit more on gesture or flow or depth and um, this way you can slowly grow and um, from each piece and uh, yeah, so with Georg, um, was just a was just a thing that we said that we should both get back on it and hopefully do more of this in the future. Uh, this this um, time lapses and uh, um, and see where it goes. Uh, so yeah, I invite everybody actually jump on it give it a try uh, try limiting your uh, time with 10 hours and uh, try to design a whole thing a whole character in, um, in that time and see where it goes so yeah going back to the design i added those um, scissors to the sides which could be similar to eyes of the of the eagle head uh, but sort of abstracted out and um, made in this um, hard surface sci-fi-ish look um, and i'll be adding uh, glass on top and uh, and further developing it um, but yeah for now i just liked the idea and the way it looked uh, the way it shaped break bricked up the, uh, the visor and uh, yeah add some further functionality to it so it's not just random shapes and forms like beneath beneath that thing um, or inside that thing could be a small LED uh, giving giving light or, or some kind of a sensor And yeah, as I mentioned before, and I'll mention it again, um, we are like halfway throughout the design, 
and I'm still giving quite a lot of focus on on the helmet, which perhaps is not the best thing to do. Um, yeah, I think it would be way smarter to give a little bit more focus uh, in this given time to to some other parts. Yeah, especially arms and legs. They'll need they'll need more work. So yeah, it's a good reminder not to tunnel vision too hard on, on a specific part or perhaps even create a more concrete plan on how much time you can allow yourself to spend on uh, a particular part. I used to do that a lot in the past, uh, not quite as, uh, as disciplined about it these days. Uh, so what I would do is... Uh, I would assign uh, in a given day, for example, I can spend two hours on head, uh, two hours on torso, and maybe one hour on arms, and or two hours on arms and two hours on legs. Um, and yeah, that way you don't you don't um, you don't tunnel vision and spin out of control. Because the worst thing is uh, is the feeling when you're the day is ending and you just have this little part that's super developed and the rest is not there at all and for a sketch like this for sure the more important part is having a whole thing uh, work in union and equally developed uh, but yeah more often than not the same thing happens in life as well we just focus on things that are not important at all and we get emotional about it and when emotions get involved you get more and more attached to the situation <laughs> and the more energy you give to the problem that you think is a problem the more into it you are the more the more invested you are and you don't want to let go and I feel like that's the exact same thing that happened with me on the helmet. Just too much focus. <laughs> and uh, and maybe, maybe I am exaggerating a bit too much right now. It's not the big deal. What's the big deal, right? So much. You gave a little bit more focus on the helmet. <laughs> life, life won't end with that. But sometimes sometimes those little moments can be can be can be important right and and if we go back to the supercar analogy then um, having a clear mindset about these things is is essential because in the end you want to perform to the best of your ability and um, even the little things are Are important in the end that and and help help you perform to the best and with that i will leave you to the time lapse uh with some music i'll be i'll be stopping the recording i think that's everything i wanted to say this time and i'll be back with the next episode hopefully sooner than later Thanks for watching guys and uh, have a good one. Cheers.